Hello and welcome to the third edition of Economic Times Spectrum 2022, presented by Google Cloud. The theme for this year is creating a robust digital future, and cloud is one thing that is synonymous with digitization. To speak more about it, we have Jay Venugopal, who is the Chief Product and Technology Officer for Flipkart. Hello sir, welcome on board. Happy to be here. Jay, if you could start off by telling me how essential is cloud for the growth of the organization and also for innovation? Yeah, for a digital native company like us, uh, our uh, doors are open 24 by 7 to customers and we have huge level of seasonality in uh, demand, right? So uh, there has been a consistent growth in uh, e-commerce adoption in the country. And uh, as this growth keeps exponentially happening and is expected to go on for several years, right, at a very high CAGR, it was imperative for us to find the best way to organize our infrastructure, right? So, um, so we looked at various elements of uh, on-prem, hybrid models, uh, uh, single cloud versus multi-cloud models, etc. And and then uh, we did extensive simulation and modeling on what gives us the right mix of security, the latest in uh, data and database technologies, AI and ML, uh, and and as well as cost efficiencies and. If you are able to focus our capital allocation on the right problems that delight our customers and not provision excess capacity by means of capex and, and are able to use that for innovation and growth of the business instead uh, that felt like the right recipe for us to move the business forward and hence our decision to start adopting cloud in a big way understood now you did make a decision to adopt cloud and it is essential for a digital native company like you how did you then ensure all the three aspects of cloud that is security efficiency and cost effectiveness yeah see if you if you look at uh, how we did the modeling for uh, uh, considering cloud adoption security is a very important factor when you are uh, when you are running your entire infrastructure on prem and you are storing hundreds of millions of customers uh, data right the number one imperative for uh, any any company that holds that much of customer data in, in custody right, uh, is, uh, is making sure that uh, security is never compromised. So when we move to on-prem, we gain a lot of levers in terms of security. So for example, there are these things like zero day vulnerability. So there are elements of breaches that uh, these days that get reported, uh, which you cannot protect against ahead of time. Right? So it's about how responsive you are and how well you are able to uh, fix breaches in time right when a new vulnerability is discovered so rather than any single company constantly being on the alert and monitoring we are, we are at the end of the day we are an e-commerce company right our focus has to be on our customers developing innovation to advance commerce in the country right so while we will do our best job of trying to make sure that our infrastructure is as secure as it can be we believe that handing that off to somebody who does that 24 by 7 for us and focusing our energy and efficiency on our core business and innovation thereof is a very important uh, element for us, right? So as we scale further, that that was a very important consideration that hey, we get that that in the mix of moving to the cloud. Of course, there is a there is a trade-off as well, right? So when you're when you have everything on-prem on your own servers, now you're putting it on a shared infrastructure. You want to make sure that you are using the right security paradigms. You are constantly testing your APIs and endpoints. And of course, while you are relying on, on uh, any cloud provider uh, you are uh, onboarding on with respect to them making sure their motherships are actually properly patched and secure, their networks are properly secured, etc. And we believe and trust that they will do a great job of it. And in fact, a better job than most other individual companies can do. We also now need to start being very cognizant of where is our data located? Uh, is that data encrypted at uh, both rest and uh, on the wire and all of those elements? So it, it comes with uh, both of those elements and you'll have to evaluate uh, that in the context of your data, your business and your needs and, and take the call. Efficiency obviously is a, is a huge gain uh, for any company adopting cloud, right? Because uh, if you look at even developer productivity, being able to hand off things like uh, auto scaling of your infrastructure, not needing to worry about constantly doing patch maintenance and all of that for the underlying substratum of uh, uh, 
uh, hardware and motherships and virtual machines and all that and instead focusing on what you do best which is basically your applications your algorithms your customer facing innovations that is that is a very very big element of how we think we can improve developer productivity by no less than 30 to 40 percent so our modeling and our early pocs say that uh, 30 40 percent is is a very achievable target in terms of uh, uh, efficiency and and uh, cost of course uh, you variableize your cost instead of actually upfront investing in capex which gets locked in and when you're investing in capex you cannot invest only for one year out right because you're building and designing like designing and building data centers with a, let's say a five year horizon right so you will you will get in, uh, you'll get uh, power installed there your business continuity plan and redundancy plans everything will plan for that level of growth which means you're somewhat over provisioning uh, than what you need on year one right so instead of that if you go go to a, a infrastructure which gives you complete variableized cost that saves you a lot of that headache and uh, uh, your business can uh, have very high growth or maybe moderate growth in years when you cannot predict market forces happening like what happened with covid for many businesses and so on right so and and you will still be okay right so that level of being able to variableize the cost is very important and the last point i would make is uh, especially for businesses that uh, have high volatility in their demand patterns uh, even day to day we have very very different uh, traffic patterns which drive our compute memory storage all the cloud component utilizations right on a day to day basis also hours of the day it's different and and uh, of course during festive season big billion day etc it's like several times our normal business as usual volume right yes, yes. so all of those are way more efficient when you are uh, on an infrastructure which helps you seamlessly scale in a very fungible manner and effortlessly do so and and those are some of the biggest benefits we see from cloud adoption thank you jay you spoke about big billion day you spoke about scale there can be nothing bigger than that and that is when cloud comes into picture it was great hearing you and those were some wonderful insights thank, thank you. you thank you